Guam, have you heard the tale of Anansi the Spider? It is a legendary story from our rockin' heritage. Ah, yes. I've heard a few stories about Anansi. He is a clever character. Please, share the tale with me. Mima, let me tell you the story of Anansi and the Pot of Wisdom. Long ago in the forest, Anansi embarked on the quest to obtain the Buzama, the Pot of Wisdom. Buzama? What does that mean? Buzama means wisdom in Arakan language. Now, as Anansi set out on his journey, he encountered Ospo, the leopard, who guarded the Pot of Wisdom. Ospo was known for his strength and ferocity. Oh, Ospo sounds like a formidable opponent. How did Anansi manage to face him? Well, Anansi had a plan. He approached Ozbo and said, Akwaba, Ozbo. I come seeking the wisdom of the Buzama to share with our people. But first, I must prove my worthiness. Akwaba means welcome, right? Yes, exactly. Anansi told Ozbo that he wanted to have a contest of strength with him. But instead of competing directly, Anansi proposed a challenge of tying each other to a tree using a strong vine. That's a clever way to outsmart Ozbo. I can't wait to see what happens next. Anansi, being a master of trickery, had secretly tied the vine around himself but made it seem like he was struggling to tie Ozbo. Ozbo, thinking he was winning, let his guard down. Anansi's cunning is impressive. What did he do next? With Ozbo securely tied to the tree, Anansi approached the Pot of Wisdom. But as he reached for it, he heard the voice of the Ntantin, the spider's web, warning him of the consequences of taking the Buzama without permission. Ntantin? What does that mean? Ntantin means spider's web. It represents wisdom, creativity, and interconnectedness in our culture. Now, Anansi realized he needed to seek the permission of the Nyam the Sky God, before taking the Pot of Wisdom. That's a crucial lesson about respecting higher powers. Did Anansi manage to gain permission? Indeed. Anansi embarked on a journey to Niam's abode in the sky. He carried a calabash filled with gifts, golden yam, palm wine, and kola nuts. Niam, pleased with the offerings, granted Anansi permission to take the Buzama. It's fascinating how Nancy used his wit and resourcefulness to overcome challenges. Did he bring the Buzama back to the people? Yes. Anansi returned to the forest with the Buzama, filled with the wisdom of the ages. He shared its knowledge with the Akan people, empowering them with wisdom and guiding them towards a brighter future. What a remarkable tale. Anansi's courage and cleverness brought wisdom to our people. These stories are truly a treasure. Indeed, they are. Our rock and folklore holds valuable lessons and teachings that have been passed down for generations. Anansi's tales remind us of the power of wisdom and the importance of using our intelligence to overcome challenges. Thank you, Quam, for sharing this captivating story of Anansi and the Pot of Wisdom. I will remember the lessons it imparts. You're welcome, Mima. These stories are meant to be shared and cherished. Let us continue to celebrate our cultural heritage through the enchanting tales of Anansi and keep our traditions alive. What you have seen just now is a shift dialogue of two persons telling in African folklore the Anansi. Anansi the spider is a prominent figure in West African and Caribbean folklore, particularly among the Akan people of Ghana. He is a cunning and clever trickster character, often depicted as a spider or a man with spider-like qualities. Anansi's stories are known for their humor, wit, and moral lessons. Anansi is a beloved character who uses his intelligence and cunning to navigate through various situations. He is known for his quick thinking and ability to outsmart more powerful beings. Anansi often finds himself in challenging circumstances and uses his cleverness to come out on top. In many Anansi tales, he interacts with other animals and mythical beings. These encounters often involve Anansi tricking his opponents or using his wit to solve problems. Anansi is also known for his ability to shapeshift and take on different forms to achieve his goals. One famous Anansi story is how Anansi obtained the Sky God's stories. 
In this tale, Anansi decides to gather all the stories in the world and keep them for himself. He tricks the sky god, Niam, into offering him his stories in exchange for completing a series of impossible tasks. Anansi successfully accomplishes the tasks with the help of his cleverness and the assistance of other animals. As a result, Anansi becomes the holder of all stories and shares them with the world, spreading knowledge and wisdom. Anansi's stories are often told orally, passed down through generations. They serve as a way to entertain, teach moral lessons, and preserve cultural values. Anansi is seen as a symbol of resilience and resourcefulness, teaching listeners the importance of wit, adaptability, and intelligence in navigating life's challenges. These tales of Anansi have also made their way into Caribbean folklore through the transatlantic slave trade, where African slaves brought their stories and traditions with them. In the Caribbean, Anansi is often portrayed as a hero of the oppressed, outwitting powerful figures and empowering the weak. Overall, Anansi the Spider remains an iconic and beloved character in folklore, captivating audiences with his wit, humor, and timeless wisdom. His stories continue to be cherished and shared as a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Thanks for watching.